What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys doing a little bit of maintenance on the truck. We are replacing fuel filters on our 2015 6.7 power stroke. But first if you guys like these uploads and reviews and how-to videos on 6.0s and 6.7s, hit that subscribe button and turn the bell notification on so you don't miss any of the future videos. Okay so we have our 2015 here and it is time to do fuel filters. If I had to take an assumption the last ones haven't been changed any time recently so we are going to get a new set in here. I'll try to find the interval inter I will try to find the intervals that they recommend changing your fuel filters out and I got to tell you guys it doesn't hurt to change about more especially with how expensive these fuel systems are. If these filters aren't doing their job, you're in a much higher chance of blowing out your CP4 pump and that is going to be a bad day. They are expensive and they very often take out all the fuel lines and injectors plus the fuel logs on these. So Okay, so here are our fuel filters. These are from Ford, guys. This is the box they should come in. So there's your part number. Make sure that you're not getting one of the older style boxes, guys. These, this style's been out for a while. I watched a video from a Ford tech that went over fake uh, fuel filters and other parts from online sellers. So be careful as you purchase these. I'm going to try to find a reputable Amazon seller for these but I gotta tell you I just went down to my local Ford dealer Hondru Ford and picked these up most of the parts like these I'm either getting from Hondru Ford or I'm getting from diesel and automotive so just bear that in mind guys there's no harm in going to your local dealership they've treated me really well over the years now only tool you're actually gonna need 32 millimeter wrench or socket I mean and I do have a roll of paper towels here just because when we get to the upper filter there, we're gonna cram some underneath as we disconnect those lines. I almost forgot I need something to put my diesel in as it comes out of this bottom filter. So we are gonna hop under the truck here and I'll show you the filter and we'll get to work. Take two since I forgot to turn the camera on the first time. Anyway guys, so we have our drain here. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna open that a little bit. Doesn't take too many turns to come out if you see that. I have it probably cracked a little too far since it's coming down at two spots, but it's still in my bucket, so no problem there. Now what's nice about this is on six liters, this pump is actually turned sideways and the drain on them does not work. So what's nice, this is a nice easy setup. This truck has not been super well taken care of. It's been beat on pretty good, but this still works fine and exactly as it's intended, so well done Ford. Those of you guys that have never changed one of these on a six liter, you end up taking a diesel bath and it sucks, it's not fun. Okay, so now that we've loosened this guy, this guy's draining well, we're gonna get this sensor off here and basically I just have to push in and press down on this tab here and then it comes off. I don't know if you guys can see that coming up as I, there's a lot of dirt in here. Okay, so lesson learned. Once you crack this open, this uh, yellow valve here, start loosening this. Otherwise it'll just keep draining fuel. So now like an idiot, I have half a thing full of here, of, well, I have a good chunk of fuel here and all I had to do was loosen it up and it literally stops. There's a check valve that is uh, triggered here. So I will say the filter doesn't look nearly as bad as I thought. Now I'm gonna go get this thing cleaned up. We'll be back. Uh, we're gonna take this O-ring up here off, get the new one on, so see you guys in a second. And there's an O-ring up here. I wanna start popping out. Man, that is a filthy son of a gun. So since we know that that's dirty up there, we're gonna take a little, we're gonna take a couple seconds. We're gonna clean all around there, make sure it's all good. We already cleaned out the piece that the filter sits in and pops up in there too. So I'm gonna get a rag. We're gonna clean around there, put the new O-ring in, then come back. We're gonna screw this, uh, the, fil the bottom of the filter in then. Okay, so we got that done. Now, 
We got our O-ring here, and we're gonna lube it up with some diesel, since I have way too much diesel here. So, and we'll put this thing on. All right, that's now seated in place. Then we take our filter. So there's this big open end here that's gonna go up in there. And this little end here, make sure this is, so this little end is gonna go into our housing. I think that's coming up relatively-ish. Okay, it will press it in, it'll loosely fit in there. It'll easily be able to move it around. But then we're going to start tightening this guy up. Make sure you close this valve or it'll start leaking. Okay, so I know that this was oriented over here. So we're going to just give it a little tighten. Very careful as you're doing this. And there it is, it stopped. Do not try to over tighten this. It, you will break it. We're gonna plug our sensor back in. That's nice and tight. Any of you guys following the channel know I'm a big fan of if something's coming apart, it needs to go back together nicer than it came off. So, so we clean the interior and exterior of this. I do need to get under and really power wash the areas that are hard to get, but I'm a big fan of when you're doing a job, do it right, get it. Don't just clean off the bare minimum. Everything needs to look better than when you took it off, so. All right, let's get to the top side. Let's do this last fuel filter. Okay, so for these guys, we just have to spread, just have to spread these. And I feel like this is normally turned up. Okay, so we just need to spread these legs here. And if you pull them down and push, this other piece will actually come off. And we can pull this off completely we got our paper towels down there to catch the diesel fuel and then on this other one you just press the two gray tabs in and that'll pop off and just turn this a little Ooh, that stinks So we're gonna, we're gonna put this paper towel over this as we turn and lift up. Okay. Okay, so lesson learned. As you take that out, take a paper towel, cover the nozzles so as you turn it to pick it up, it doesn't get all over everything here. Another thing, this be an excellent time to replace this filter. I know mine's bad, I need to replace it, but I don't have it here. So this, the fuel filter will have to come out one more time for me to do that. But since we did spill here, make sure to clean this all up. You don't want this fuel just sitting there. Now for the new one, you'll have, there'll be this on the one side, just take that off. Come back in here. And you'll hear it click into place. And get your lines on here. Give them each a good tug. Make sure they're on there good. 
Now for the last part, we got to head inside the truck and we are going to prime these. I really need to clean this thing. This is filthy under here. Now for the earlier style ones that have that third prong there coming off the fuel filter, one thing to say is they also have a band clamp that goes around the housing. I believe it's a seven millimeter. Just take a socket. A lot of people come at it from over here with a little like six inch extension, but there should be a nut there. Just loosen it. You don't have to take it all the way out. And then there are also the quarter turn styles just like this. So only thing for the earlier style, style, only thing for the earlier style trucks that you're going to need to mess with is that. Let's head in the cab. Let's get this thing started. Okay. So before we start it here, we need to cycle the key for about 30 seconds, six times. So we're going to just literally turn our power on. Get our windows down so I don't froze to death in here. So again, we're doing 30 second intervals. Okay, to reset this, the fuel filter here, we're gonna head down to, hopefully this is coming up, settings, then vehicle, then go down, maintenance, fuel filters, and it just says hold to change. Fuel filters are set to new now. And we just have one more of these to go. And we should be good to start the truck then. All right, so we have our fuel filters reset here on the dash. I'm also a fan, double check your work, make sure we have no leaks up top, make sure we have no leaks down below. It's pretty easy to see both locations, but just double check them guys, it's that easy to change your fuel filters. Uh, don't get me wrong, most fuel filters on these trucks are easy to do, the 6.0 is pretty easy, it's just you take a diesel bath every time you do a 6 liter one, so I do like this setup, much, much more, much easier to do. Again quality fuel filters do not skip out on good fuel filters there's no reason to cheap out you're going to cost yourself a fuel system down the road just get the ford stuff you know it's good unless you go with an aftermarket like air dog or fast fuel system then it's fine for your lower filter to go that route if you have any questions drop those down below happy to answer them i'm going to find everybody a link to ford fuel filters probably on amazon from a reputable dealer i'm going to make sure it's a good dealer so you guys are getting actual ford parts not Chinese knockoffs. But if you're ever in doubt, guys, go to your Ford dealer. There's nothing wrong with that. That's where I picked up this package. Anyway, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, guys. I'll see you in the next upload.